Hi, my name's Kristen, but my friends call me Dolo. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making loaded buffalo chicken waffle fries. First things first, here's what you'll need for this recipe. Don't be the jerk that shows up with a dollar bag of chips and think that that's good enough. It's not. You can do so much better, and I'm gonna show you how. All right, first things first, cook your favorite waffle fries according to the directions of the package. I'm not gonna bore you on how I cooked mine. Just cook it until they're nice and crispy. Sounds so good. All right. Try and get a nice, even layer so your fries touch all of the goodies that are about to go on top of them. So here I have a couple tablespoons of melted butter. We're gonna go ahead and make our buffalo sauce. Put maybe about like half a cup of your favorite hot sauce. This happens to be mine. We're gonna go ahead and stir it around until it's nice and well incorporated. Until it gets that familiar creamy hot sauce look. All right, and what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and pour it all over some warmed, chopped up rotisserie chicken. Make sure it's warm, because this isn't going back in the oven, and the warm fries and the cold chicken would just taste kinda, mm -hmm, kinda gross. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle the chicken over our fries here. Make sure it gets nice and evenly distributed. This is a, a different take on the buffalo wing. I think your friends will be impressed if you make something like this. Make sure that if you do go to someone's house that you assemble it there. You don't assemble it ahead of time. Otherwise your fries will be kind of soggy. Okay. I don't think that's enough hot sauce. So we're just gonna do a little drizzle. Ooh. Missed a section. There we go. All right. We have your favorite ranch dressing. Everything tastes good. All right. So on top of that, we have a little bit of blue cheese crumbles. If you don't like blue cheese, you're not gonna miss it from this. It's still gonna taste really good. I'm not a fan so much, but my husband is. There we go. Okay. And here I just have some minced up celery. So this will kind of give you, you know, the little crunch that you may need in this dish. Plus it's a nice little break from the heat. And then I also have some celery leaves. Oftentimes those just go unused, but I think they have a lot of flavor and it looks kind of cool. There you have it. Loaded buffalo chicken waffle fries. <laughs> 